Hi, in this video we will take a look at the DL30 auto tracking camera and the feature called zone mode. And in zone mode it acts similar to a cross between auto tracking and presets. So keep in mind that when you're using zones it will occupy preset numbers 6, 7, 8, and 9 on your remote control. So if you're ready, let's take a look at how to set this up. When using the DL30 auto tracking camera and you are in auto tracking mode, remember to press the off button to turn off the auto tracking. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and use the up, down, left and right arrow keys along with the zoom in and out rocker buttons to select where you would like to have your zone set up. Keep in mind again, when using zones, you're using preset numbers 6, 7, 8 and 9 on your remote control. You can have up to four zones, but that does not mean that you have to use all four. You can have two, three, or four. So let's take a look at an example. I will be occupying space 6 and 7 for my presets on the remote control. So I'll be using the remote control and I'm going to use my left, right, up and down and zoom in, zoom out rockers. So I'm going to pick my spot. So this is what I'm going to have as my first zone. So let me go ahead and turn this off, turn off the auto tracking. So I press the off button for auto tracking. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the remote control and let's go ahead and select an area here. And let me zoom in. One thing to keep in mind when setting up zones, you have to have a little bit of an overlap. That way it knows, or the camera knows, that you're walking from one zone to the next. When I talk about uh, an overlap, I may want to have a little bit larger space than this, so I'm going to zoom out just slightly, just a little bit more, and move this over this way, because my next zone is going to be over here. So when I talk about an overlap, the next zone preset has to see a little bit of this area so it knows that I'm going from one zone to the next. I've set this up for number six on my preset. So I hit preset and the number six to make sure I have that set up as a preset six. So let me make sure that we have done that. So I will hit number three. This is my preset for number three. And then let me hit number six again and let's make sure. Yes, so we have it set up properly. So now I'm going to set up my next zone. And remember, it has to go a left to right fashion. So I'm going to just use my remote control again. And this area is going to be my next zone. So remember, I talked about an overlap. So I have to make sure and keep in mind where approximately that was. So we're talking right about in this area here. Okay, so now that we've set up our zones, let's take a look at how to activate the zone mode. Remember, zones can be up to four different zones. However, they occupy numbers six, seven, eight, and nine on your remote control. It has to go in a sequential and a linear fashion, which means that if I'm only using two zones, I cannot set it up on numbers seven and eight or eight and nine. They must be on numbers six and seven. So let's go ahead and Turn off our preset mode. So in the upper right hand corner of remote control, press off. Now I'm ready to go into my zone mode. Down at the bottom right, I press zone on. And now it goes right over to my first zone. So this is my number six. Oops. So you have to be careful because remember that overlap. If I walk into my next zone, it's going to follow me over here. So now I'm at my next zone. So I'm just talking and giving an example on this reader board. Now I can just walk back to the next zone and it follows me over to the next one. But that's how zones will work. It has to be again in that linear fashion from left to right. So over here, and this is just so it'll focus in on the board and it won't follow you around if you're moving. So hopefully that made sense. So I'm going to come back here and now it's back to my other zone. When I'm ready to stop my zone mode, remember just to hit the off button and it stops the zone. And if I want to get back into auto tracking mode, typically what I end up doing is in the bottom right hand, or excuse me, bottom left hand corner of your remote control, it says upper or full. I just press that and I go to on for auto tracking. And here we are. 
it is now back to auto tracking. So very, very simple. Again, if you want to go back into a zone, you want to make sure you turn off the auto tracking and then you press zone and on and it comes right back over to your first setup for your zone and now you're in zone mode. So there you have it. That's how you set up your zone tracking mode.